All right, so in this video, we're going to look at finding a tangent line to parametric curves. All right, so let's suppose f and g are differentiable functions, and we want to find the tangent line at a point on the curve where y is also differentiable, is also a differentiable function of x. Then, and then, well, this should be chain rule. Then the chain rule gives the derivative of y with respect to t, dy dt, is equal to dy dx times dx dt. If dx over dt is not equal to zero, we can solve for dy dx. So dy dx is dy over dt, I'm sorry, is dy dt over dx dt if dx over dt or dx dt is not equal to zero. All right, so what this does by finding dy dx, this lets us find the slope of the tangent line, okay? Because if you remember when you find the slope of the tangent line, you take the derivative of the function and then, the, and then evaluate the function at that point and that gives you the slope of the tangent line. All right, and and also it keeps us from having to eliminate our parameter t, okay? So we're finding dy dx and it's the derivatives with respect to t. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. All right, I'll, I have two examples to do, but they're each going to have their own video. Uh, this one, you can see, you can see what this problem is. And I'll show you the second problem is going to be this. It's going to involve trig functions. So in the, in the problem, we have to solve for t, and we'll get multiple answers for t, and I'll show you how to, how to decide which one it is. So you might want to check that video out also. It'll have its own video. All right, so let's look at this. So we need dy dx. So dy dx, this is gonna, this is gonna allow us to find the slope of the tangent line. Well, remember that's dy dt over dx dt. And so dy dt, so that's the derivative of y with respect to t. So you can see that derivative is just 2t. That's the derivative of this, this one. All right, and now the derivative of x with respect to t. So I take the derivative of x with respect to t. So the derivative of one is zero. And then we know the derivative of natural log t is one over t. And so this is gonna give us 2t. And then remember it's 2t divided by this, so it's 2t times the reciprocal of 1 over t, which is t, so our derivative is 2t squared. All right, so now the slope of the tangent line is the derivative evaluated at t, but what is t? Well, we have to figure out what t is, okay? So, we have, we have x is equal to 1 plus the natural log of t, okay? Well, that tells us that 1 plus the natural log of t is equal to 1. Well, where did we get that? Well, you see our point here? This is the point x, y, and x is 1. You see that? So we plug this one in here for x, and now we need to solve. All right, so we get natural log t is equal to zero, and then we convert this to exponential form. Remember, natural log is log base e, so that's e to the zero equals t, so we get t equals one. Now, <clears throat> we could have, we could have, you know, we could have taken this one also, okay? We could have taken this one also and set it equal to three, all right? And just to show you real quick, if we would have set this equal to three, we would have gotten three equals t squared plus two, 
so t squared is equal to 1 so we get t is plus or minus 1 so you can see we get the positive 1 here but we also get this negative 1 okay but we know see t equals 1 or t equals negative 1 but we know it's not this one because the negative 1 does not satisfy this equation Okay, see if we plug in t equals negative 1, we would have the natural log of negative 1 and we can't do that. Okay, so you can use either equation to solve. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we get t equals 1. So now we know what t is. So to find our slope, our slope is equal to the derivative here evaluated at 1. So that's 2 times 1 squared equals 2. So I have a slope of 2. Now we can use the point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay. So now look I have my slope and I have a point on the line. So I get y minus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 1 and so y minus 3 that's 2x minus 2 so y is equal to 2x plus 1 and this is the equation of the tangent line all right so I hope this video helped uh, check out the other videos and like I said you know what the second example is uh, so give me a like share subscribe and check out my other videos and thanks for watching